good good division win on the road. Um, three games, last three games in a row on the road. Thought it was a gritty win. Um, Josh, led by Josh. Uh, offense got off to a good start, established the line of scrimmage early in the game. Uh, Ray Davis really stepped up in, in, in uh, James's absence. Thought he ran tough, ran physical, protected the ball. Red zone offense, red zone defense, a big, big difference in the game. Um, and then Taron with a great play at the end, and, and T Rap had another great play breaking up the, uh, the pass in the end zone there. Um, with that, I'll turn it over to you with your questions. John, it seems, uh, I don't want to speak for Rome, but like an uncharacteristic performance by one of your teams. Discipline, situational awareness, things like that. How do you process this right afterwards? Yeah, we've got to be, we've got a lot to clean up. Got to be more disciplined. We can't beat ourselves. Um, situational football. We've got to go back and re-examine the situation at the end of the half with the sideline play. We were defending the sideline with the potential for the field goal, um, and left a you know a hail mary check to a hail mary, and um, so we've got to we've got to go back and re-examine that as well. So a lot to clean up, and um, we got a short week to do it. Josh had a tough game last week. Rebounds. Yeah, thank you. Just so it's more. Yeah, sorry. Tough game for Josh last week. Bounces back with a much better performance. What was the difference from your perspective for him today? Yeah, um, you know, number one, when you're able to run the football, it helps. Uh, we were able to run the football last week, don't get me wrong. Um, but coming out the way we did, I think, established a line of scrimmage. And, and uh, Josh was seeing the game. He was seeing, seeing their defensive looks. and. And um, you know, going through his progression, getting the ball out when he needed to, and then, and then he made some loose plays like he always does. And um, our scramble drill, those are things you don't take for granted when he gets loose. That um, what we call a scramble drill, the patterns that match up um, with his with his and where he's going, his scramble and his his uh, mobility in those situations. You know, we got some got some completions off him as well. So we practiced that this week. Joe did a great job. Um, making sure we were getting that in practice this week, and, and then you saw the execution of it. Sean, you mentioned Taylor Rapp and um, Darren Johnson. Just what did they mean to this defense tonight coming back after? Yeah, we missed them. You know, we missed them last week. Um, good to have them both back. Um, they made some big plays for us. You know, we've got some young guys out there playing, and um, those two are some of our veteran players. And you could tell, <clears throat> excuse me, in the week of practice, you could tell that there was a difference in just the communication and the, and the speed at which we were playing on defense during the week. How much from, as, from your position as coach did you have to kind of handle Dion's emotions and passion? It seemed like it was overflowing at times. Yeah, definitely. Um, for not just Dion, but um, just too many penalties overall. And it's hard to win when you've got 11 penalties, um, six of which I believe were either pre-snap or, or post-whistle penalties, which is um, not how we do, not how we handle ourselves. And, and so... Um, we just play football the right way. Uh, that takes care of a, takes care of a lot of it. With Deion and Mormet, like the stuff before the game, the history there with this team, the back and forth, even walking off the field, kind of pointing at some of their players. How do you manage that as a coach? Well, you address it, and do and you do the best you can. At the end of the day, then he's got to take that and make sure he's thinking of the team first. And um, those pre-snap, those are those are pre-snap or post-whistle. Those are non-negotiable. That we don't we don't that's we don't tolerate that stuff. So we've got to do a better job um, in that category for sure. There was a time, Sean. There was a time on the sideline where Josh made it a point to address some players whose emotions were maybe going a little bit overboard, as you're talking about. Is that what you need to see in the leader in Josh Allen? Absolutely. Yeah, ab absolutely, and not just him. Uh, but he carries so much influence uh, when he does things like that, when he's keeping his composure, keeping his head about him. In addition, playing the way he played tonight, um, that's, that's a sign of a, of a leader. And then you can see the influence that that carries. And, and so, um, you know, I thought TB does a similar thing on the defensive side. I thought he did some of that tonight. And um, we need that. That's important. You know, the, the player-driven leadership is, is huge. Tyler Bass, kind of going back to training camp with some bumps there and throughout the season as well. Just what's your confidence level in him right now, and what are you seeing during the week that's different from games? He knows he needs to make those kicks. That's the, that's the bottom line. He knows he needs to make those kicks. Sean, you mentioned the play at the end of the half. Um, that situation is that something that is decided 
in the moment, or is that done Thursday? I mean, wh how does what goes? Can you maybe take us through how you're rolling out that? What you're going to do? In the day, it, it 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 didn't work, right? So that's why we have to go back and re-examine it. Um, you know, those there's a grid you go through at the end of half or end of game situations based on the time on the clock, the timeouts they have, and you try and put your best defense out there for the situation. Um, like I said, at the end of the day, um, they executed better than we did, and so we've got to go back, go back and, and re-examine, making sure we've got the right, um, the right number of rushers for that situation as well as the right number of cover guys, and so uh, that will be done this week. John, situationally, the end of this game mirrored a lot of what we saw in Houston where you get the ball back deep in your end, you decide to run it twice this time, uh, actually three times this time. It was the, after that Houston game, you said this is something we're going to learn from. Is, did you see it kind of come to fruition in this one? You know, we did. I mean, sometimes you put in the work and, you, and it doesn't, right? But uh, we spent a lot of time this week um, meeting just as a, from a game operations, game management standpoint, and um, I thought we handled it extremely well. And then 17 um, kind of drew, the, drew that one up, that last play in the dirt a little bit, and um, he's a heck of a competitor, so... Six and a half minutes in, and we haven't mentioned Ray Davis yet. I think I mentioned him earlier. I'm sorry. Well, let's did elaborate on, on the you game. You did right off the top. Thank the you. Game. <laughs> All right. Well, the, the game that he had uh, and what he, how you were able to deploy him, yeah. and, and when did you know that James Cook wasn't going to be able to go for it? Yeah, we, you know, James, I'll give him credit, you know, and Khalil, too. You got some guys out there pushing through it. You know, teams are hurt this time, you know, six, seven weeks in, whatever it is now, and, um, most guys are playing with things, and Khalil being out there, he wasn't 100%, but appreciate how he was able to get through it and push through for his team. And um, you could just see it on his face during the week, even though I think he only got a little bit of re a few reps on what was our what was our Saturday, I believe. And uh, and James got a few reps also. Um, we were planning on working him out before the game, and uh, he just felt like he wasn't going to be able to help the team. And and I res we all respect that. We want him out there. He wants to be out there, and um, you know, hopefully, he can get back for this week. John, on that drive, note, uh, I'm sorry. I just want to follow. I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Just uh, on Davis, the opening drive, especially yeah, yeah, 50 yeah. yards or whatever he had before he even caught that long pass. What did that being able to establish that without James Cook? Uh, you could feel it. You could feel our intent to win the line of scrimmage. You could feel that from our offense, from our offensive line. I mean, it takes 11 guys to run the ball well. And run it effectively and run it with an attitude and, and those guys they came out with that and that's how the mindset just to build on that the first drive very physical which i mean guys were falling forward every chance dalton even had a guy uh, his play is that something you talked about all week leading into this game well we knew what type of game it was going to be um, we knew it was going to be close they're a good football team um, you know when you've got aaron Rodgers as a quarterback and a, and a high level defense um, we knew what type of game it was going to be so and quite honestly, most of their games have been just like that. Um, and so, um, you know, our offense came out and established, like I said, a, a, a mindset and a, and a tone. And, um, and especially getting the rookie off to a good start. And Ty was in there too. Let's not forget Ty. And, and so two guys stepped up in, in James's absence. John, how would you rate these last three road games and how good will it be to return back home next week? Well, I think you learn a lot about your team when you go on the road. Uh, especially for three straight weeks, and and um, you know we, we learned a lot about ourselves even tonight, just in this game. So um, it'll be great to be back home. Uh, we can't take that for granted though in our preparation. And again, on a short week, um, hopefully we get some guys back and and uh, and uh, put ourselves in position to to um, to play a good team at home in, in Tennessee.